We are back with more Monster Train, a fun little deck building game where we are climbing the rank to 25. We're at 17 now, we're trying to beat it. And I thought, why not go back to where we started doing our random, random videos? It's such a fun thing to do, so here we go. I am hoping... Okay, looks like we are doing Awoken and Umbra. And let's see who our champion is. It's always exciting to find out on a random, random run. Ooh, I do like the Sweep Wildeton. Mm, let's go ahead and grab the Merchant. That is always a blast. So, I wanted to go back to our random, random runs. They add a little bit of sense of fun, and even if we don't do well, we had fun doing it, and if we do beat the game, you know, it's just amazing to feel that you took a random combination that the computer gave. Let's see, do I want the 75? We can deal with it. We're going to have trouble getting the fairy with our current deck. Yeah, let's do that. So, uh, I wanted to do this because it is a bit of a challenge to... Uh, go with random random spikes are nice and you know we're gonna we're just gonna have to let those top two go through we have that automatic daze but we're going to play that down and that i wanted to go back to random random because that's where this series started in earnest and let's see put down a train steward and upgrade us. I'm liking the start of our deck. I'm hoping to get some of the Ember Drain cards. Uh, typically with uh, Sweep Wildenton, you don't want too many creatures because you want to keep everyone on whatever floor you place them on. In this case, in order to mitigate our economic choice, we uh, placed Wildenton on the top floor and usually you'd go right on the bottom, keep them on the bottom but we wanted to make sure we could deal with the uh, units coming in. Always nice to be able to just keep them on. I I'm seeing this Ember Drain and I'm thinking we need to get a holdover onto it just to ensure that we always have a source of mana. And I think we're going to go for the uh, mana or the spell upgrades. And just because we want to be casting them every turn. Okay. Do that. We still aren't eating you. Put that down. Oh, and there it is. We'll go ahead and summon that just for fun. Okay, very nice to see. We're going to wipe them out. And I will say, of the three champions, Wildenton is by far my favorite version to start out with. I like to upgrade him then to get quick, followed by a multi-strike, and he can just be absolutely amazing. So we're not going to go over to the right. We want to upgrade our spell cards, and we don't want that additional unit. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, holdover. That's exactly what we wanted. Um, Just double checking. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade right away. And minus one. Yep. And permafrost, we don't really need permafrost in anything. We want to be using every spell that comes to us. Wildenton is great with uh, Stygian under certain circumstances. I'm actually a little bit glad it paired us with Umbra. I can't remember if I've beaten it with this combination before. But it should be fun to try, and Umbra is a really great choice for this sweeper Wildenton. Let's go ahead and leave that off. We don't really need the additional units anyways. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, there we go. Place you on the top. And do a strike. Oh, and we were lucky we placed him up on the top. Okay. Grab those. Now, because we are going to be getting most of our uh, ember from a card... We really don't need the Ember Morsels. They're good to just provide an extra meat shield. 
Uh, let's go ahead and in this case use the train steward as one. Get the additional rage. We're killing him in one turn. Uh, let's see. We're definitely not going to kill you in one turn. No, we couldn't do it. In fact, I think he's going to make it through to the pyre. Let's see. We're at least going to deal with the minions behind him. Let's go ahead and prepare you for what's to come. We'll still do some damage. And unfortunately, we are out of ember. Okay, and so back and forth, back and forth. To 13, you're down to 52. We'll gain some rage. What do we get? Okay, ember. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw... Oh, I should have placed him behind... Oh, well. We'll still increase the damage. And... Oh, Sting! Sting is going to save us today. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. What do we have? Uh, we need the regen, I think. Okay. And next... Oh, Void Binding. That's exactly what we want for this type of build. I'm hoping to get a holdover on it, reduce its mana cost. We'll have to see. Let's go down here. Can't think of any units I would really want to add from that. And, oh, holdover. Exactly what we need. Let's go right to our Void Binding. Upgrade that. Reduce its cost. And now with the... Oh, what is it called? Uh, Perils of Production, I believe it is. Yep, Perils of Production. Do I want to get rid of our sting? No, we won't get rid of our sting. With Perils of Production, we can produce Endless Ember. Well, with the Void Binding, increase Near Endless Damage Shield. It's really, really nice to have. Let's see. Hellhorn can usually help. Oh! I wish they didn't add Fragile to that card. It didn't always have Fragile on it. Armor is basically like adding health, and that's exactly what we want to do with the Wildenton. Love the Wildenton sweep. It usually is a one monster win, but we will have to see. Okay, Talos or Talos. Let's see. What did that say? Okay, you're the armor one and pushback. Really, the pushback doesn't matter with a Wildenton Umbra combination. I think we're going to be okay. We started out with our Perils of Production. Zeus or Sting. But it's not our holdover one. I think, yeah, without the damage shield, two or second floor is going to be best. It's going to limit our score. But we're trying to advance our ranks so or score really second. Oh, Void Binding. Very nice. And... Hmm... Do I put a train steward on or not? Let's go ahead and not. Oh. Don't know what happened to my voice, except that I've been talking all day. That works. Oh, and we have our combo. Yes, please. Okay. So what we're doing here is we are going to be able to have free run of Ember Drain. What is perhaps one of the worst... Um... Debuffs including Burnout in the game because it prevents you from playing other cards simply doesn't affect us right now because we're getting three Ember Drain uh, per Perils of Production which we get every single turn and our Void Binding uh, comes back it gets us our shield so their hits don't really matter all we need to complete this is to give him quick maybe a multi-strike and maybe duplicate some cards, and I think that's exactly what we're going to be doing after we continue to... Uh, oh, that's very nice. Increase our health and replace our damage shield. With quick, we wouldn't even be replacing our damage shield, we'd just be adding on to it. Okay. Is this going to do it? Yeah, you are X'd out. Very nice. Let's watch it happen. Okay, and that did it. Ooh, this is... Oh, if it were only cheaper. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab it. 
And... It, this might be nice if we were going with Seraph's Light. We aren't. We're actually going to go with Herzl's Compound to get that extra draw. And draw is so very important for this deck currently. We don't need to upgrade anyone. We don't really need to heal. Instead, we need to go and see who our champion is going to be. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the upgraded sweep. I was hoping for quick, but we can deal with that. And who is here? Uh, no one we want right now. Uh, spells get an extra upgrade slot. I will take that. That can really help us. And we really don't need the money. We're going to pass. Maybe we should have since we got the extra upgrade slot. But we're going to go ahead and give that a hard pass. Um... We already start with our Void Binding. Very nice, actually. Put you out, just because I don't want you eating away at that. Oh, we will sting you. Woot! And... Again with that. Okay, so we have a slight issue here. And that issue is we haven't drawn our hold. Oh, did we get it? We got that. And that. And that. Oops, didn't mean to place you in front. But that works for me. And we finally did get it. Yay! Okay, perfect. Another binding, and that's enough. But we will. Uh, ooh, life steal. And yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade there. Well, that was that. Very tempting to go with Grovel. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a hard pass. And we're going to move on. Alright. We are headed over here. We have money. And we have that extra spell slot. Units cost minus two. And let's look at upgrading a spell with double stack. Grab that. It now provides 50 armor. And another holdover spell. I'll take that and then we'll make this free uh, plus 10 more damage uh, yes I'll take that uh, we could at this point start purging actually uh, we don't really need to focus on the train stewards too much we can get rid of them just by placing them on floors but I will be getting rid of one and then the root seeds as well and now we're out of money Okay. We don't need money that badly. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. We're at a good place right now. Is what I really want to say. Okay, and our train stewards are free. So again, I can just place them down willy-nilly. Like so. Grab that. We're going to get 50 armor. And they're still not going to break through our damage shield, which is very nice indeed. All right. I'm going to grab that. The damage shield... And I'll actually place one of those and one of those there. Excellent. We're doing okay. Place 
Place that there. Oh wow. Took out nearly everyone with that. And here we are at the final race. Oh, are you a sweeper? Multi-strike. Oh, and that's just not going to matter, is it? But we can go ahead and start doing that. Yes. And the fortunate thing about this is... that we have already have a train steward down. We can make him very effective. He is free to cast. I don't think I'll be actually be getting rid of any more. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. And skip that. We don't really need any of those. Ooh, and over here, we are gonna duplicate. Our wonderful Void Binding. I think that is best. Getting four damage shield every turn. Uh, for essentially free, since we can get mana every turn or ember every turn. Okay. And we need to really react to just what happened here. I'm going to apply the armor... And apply the damage shield. Now this is a bit of a problem. Yes, that is a bit of a problem, isn't it? But we have this, we have that. And you may just have us dead to rights with these purge cards until we can generate mana. Okay, and there's our first mana generation. And it is our holdover one, which is perfect. Grant root seeds and grant that. Absolutely. Okay. Oops. Grant more shields. Up to six, which is very beautiful indeed. Hmm. That'll prevent one. And you can prevent another hit. Indeed. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay. All right, and we'll let you absorb all of the hits. We're, do we're doing 149 damage. Okay. We're gaining six ember every single turn. I'm not too concerned about the final wave. Is it a win? It is a win. We still want to do this just because we want to get rid of that. What is our damage shield up to? He'd have to hit us. He'd have to take 12 turns before a single hit went through. Then he'd have to go through the armor. Uh, basically, five, well, no, three turns. Uh, we are at 59 Ember Drain. Uh, we have Regen 1, Spikes 2, but... That's not much. 
Okay, 230 plus damage per hit. Very beautiful. Let's... Hmm... None of those are what I want. And we have an option here. Clearly, we're generating more morsels than we need some of the time. But clearly more, we're not getting the right cards all of the time. I'd rather get that. So we'll go draw plus... And what do we do? Yeah, let's go out this way. I am going to be getting rid of a shade splitter. And do I get rid of one more Stuart? No, they're free to play. Let's get rid of that. All right, units get extra health. That'll help me deal with spikes. And Grab that, double stack. Ooh. I'm not sure what to do there, but we're gonna do this. And yeah, let's go ahead and grab a sting. We have enough for one more. Let's get rid of another shade splitter. And that will just help us draw all the faster. We do have our quick. Now that does mean we're losing out on a little bit of damage. But remember, we're getting damage shield that's going away every time we get hit. We've just made our uh, card which provides damage shield all the more powerful. Maybe I should have considered the 20, the 20 armor, but I passed on that. And we're already there. Um, let's go and grab that. Uh, yeah. We already have our combination. It's beautiful to see. And only one hit's coming through. I'm actually happy to do both of them in the back. Now our, sp our sting went out, so we do get to do some damage. And one of those. Okay. Since those just provide ember and we don't really need those, those will go out front. Okay. And, you know, let's put one on each floor. Get them out of our deck. Uh, we have plus three draw. And let's end the turn. Okay. And we'll put a second one right there. And you can go up front. Okay. Now, they do lose. But let's take a look at the stats that we have right now. So when I look at the stats, uh, 42 Ember Drain, 13 Damage Shield, 69 Rage, and we are hitting them for a whopping 193 hit, where we should only be doing 55. So that's going to go down multiple times, but we are just doing more damage than they can reasonably keep up with. Oh, and there's our Furnace Tap. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Multi-strike on him is excellent. Uh, let's heal up. Uh, hold over. We're going to put on our Spreading Spores. And we're going to reduce that by one. Let's go ahead and re-roll. Double stack. We're going to get multi... Yeah, I mean, that is just an amazing card now. It becomes a one cost. And we have no chance for any artifacts, but that's fine. I don't mind. Do not mind. Yep, there's nothing we can do. We might have doubled the card rather than enhancing it, and then we would have 
been able to afford the artifact, but I'm happy with where we went. Okay, this is very, very interesting. Not happy with the first spell card played is consumed, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I just have to make sure to play cards I don't necessarily want. Uh, and with spreading spores, once we get enough of those going, I'll be able to play those with no issue. Okay, and here we consume this anyways. Yeah, let's get rid of that, but we will also increase rage, void binding. Um, let's use our sting for good. And we don't necessarily need regen. Okay. Here's an issue. Now we've lost that. Okay. I love getting sting. But yes, there's that as an issue. Uh, we can lose that, absolutely. Okay, and we can lose this, absolutely. Yeah, we're, ma we're making choices. And there's no way we could recover from this Ember Drain. Let's draw three more cards. Anyway, let's grant the shield there. Is it the final round? Do we win? We win. So now I don't mind playing them in whatever order I want to. And, yep. So what are our final stats? Our final stats are just off, uh, off track here. We have 25 regen. We have 18 damage shield. We have 32 spikes. Uh, we have 85 rage. We have... Two multi strikes who are attacking three times. The final boss here on our random random run is not even going to reach us. So let's go ahead and end this. Oh, it was so beautiful. I love it. I love it. Okay. And that is it. We have taken a random random run and beaten our covenant rank 17 we're now at 18 you're costing more goods we got one card mastered that is fine and did we not have that for our awoken we have a couple we haven't done yet and I'd like to see them get done, but I, I'm really happy with this random random. So, shall we be able to do it again next time? Do you want to see more Monster Train? Let me know. I am Nidanoski, and as always, have fun.